Ford. This is Jeopardy? <laughs> <laughs> Let's meet today's contestants. First of all, an inventory manager from Exton, Pennsylvania, Pat Kelly. A director of technology from Old Forge, Pennsylvania, Dave Mattingly. And our returning champion, I think, a web designer from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Corey Anacato, whose cash winnings total something. I don't know. Couldn't be bothered for much. All right, here we go. Welcome to our number six of the 24 hour game. Bob Hay, Corey Anatato, Rich Liebig. We bring you 24 of the best game shows of all time from now until 12 noon, uh, joined by a lot of other people. And if you're enjoying what you're seeing, please donate um, on behalf of child's, on behalf of us to Child's Play. Again, they provide toys, games, uh, video game consoles to children in hospitals across the country. We are proud to be earning money for them, and uh, that's the reason why we're here. So if you're enjoying what you're seeing and you, uh, you feel it, uh, donate. GameShowMarathon.com is where you can do that. Okay. Welcome, everybody. Hello. Hi. Greetings. So you've played this before. Yes. You've played this before. What's your, this is like your entrance interview. What is your experience with Jeopardy, Pat? <laughs> Five years old watching it. Bet. All right, cool. Yeah. We're good. Have you All watched right. it since then? What? Have you watched it since me. then? No. Oh. Uh, no, uh, no, I have not watched it since then. <laughs> okay, no, that's for perfectly fine. I'll just explain for the benefit of Dave, who may not have played this game before. Mm -hmm. uh, we provide the answers, and you supply the questions. And, Whoa. Uh, Jeopardy is, if you're wrong, the value is deducted from your score. I hope you can keep oh, up with that. Oh, that's right, why they that's call it the that. That's the Jeopardy, exactly. Ah, okay, they so say that. we're going to start with our Jeopardy <laughs> round. The values range from 200 to $1,000, and here come our categories. Starting off with rhyme time. Okay. Uh, followed by fashion rhyme time. Wait a minute. Uh, geometric shape rhyme time. Sense of theme. <laughs> Nursery rhyme time. Solar system rhyme time. And finally, time time. <laughs> <laughs> so there's your board. There's one daily double in this round. Uh, and Corey, you are our returning champion, so we will start with you. Go ahead and pick a clue. <laughs> I'll take time time for $800. For $800 in time time. Monks know that time is an ingredient in this popular upscale French liquor, one of the B's in B&B. &B. Corey. I did not buzz in. Oh. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Just checking on you. I'm good. Time is up. Uh, Benedictine is the answer for that. Uh, Benedictine. Yeah. Uh, we will go back to the I was going to say, which liquor is bed and breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> If you do it right, it's breakfast. Ah. <laughs> uh, go ahead and pick another one. I'll take fashion rhyme time for 600. Fashion for 600. Is the game <laughs> for some reason. So you have zero in double jeopardy. Uh, sorry, in single jeopardy, you can bet up to the highest clue on the board. So a thousand. Okay, I'll do a thousand. All right, for a thousand bucks. A small handheld evening bag from Holland. What is a Dutch clutch? That is absolutely right. Very good. Okay, so that was correct. And then, give me, give me 400 more. Oh, 400, there we go. Gotcha, and then correct, right? Yes. Bet, okay. And then maybe take off 200. I'm just gonna leave you with that, and if you get, I'll, be, I'll just pick a 200. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'll take fashion rhyme time for 200. All right, for 200, nobody buzz in Bacoria. A superior knitted pullover. Oh, sorry, there you go. Corey? What is a better sweater? A better sweater is correct. Now and it's right. Me the, the okay, do it, again. Not, do, it again. Right. do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. No. All right, no, it's all right. That's okay. It's bonus money for me. There we go. Fair <laughs> enough. This if isn't real, by the way. So. If Trebek messed up, <laughs> uh, let's do geometric shape rhyme time for a thousand. For one thousand, the emptiness within the quadrilateral with two parallel sides, and that is Dave. What's a trapezoid void? Trapezoid void is correct. I'm out of my league here. <laughs> <laughs> you signed up, okay? <laughs> Pat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bitch for me. <laughs> uh, geometric for 800. For 800. Friction reducer for a symmetrical three-dimensional shape. And that is nobody yet. Time is up. Oh. It's cube lube. Ah. <laughs> cube lube. <laughs> 
I don't know why I went for sphere. I'm like, what How, rhymes with sphere? What rhymes with W40? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Okay. Uh, Dave, it's your selection. Uh, geometric for six. The orb close at hand. And that is Dave. What's a near sphere? Near sphere is correct. It's not fair. I was uh, on this show. <laughs> <laughs> you were on Jap. Yeah, I had feathers over my head waiting to be dumped on me. He was on the real Jap. Yeah. Yeah. 400 for geometric shape. For a geometric shape, a right angled rectangular seat. That is Dave. What's no. a square chair? The square chair. Got that one. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> um, nursery rhyme time for 400. $400. Peck Pickers Venomous Reptiles. Corey. What is Peter Piper's Crocodipers? <laughs> Close. Let's open oh, everyone else. Shit. Oh, sorry. Hold on one second. And go ahead. Dave? Who is Peter Piper's Vipers? That Peter that's, Piper's Vipers. That's oh, the right, one. <laughs> uh, nursery for 600 Nursery for 600 Old King's Desired Outcomes. Dave? What's our, what are Cole's goals? Cole's goals is correct. Yeah, now I hate you. <laughs> Just now? Yeah. Uh, time, time for 400 Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme figure prominently in this hit by Simon and Garfunkel. Dave? What is Scarborough Fair? Scarborough Fair is right. Time for 600 Time's name is from a word meaning to burn, and the ancients used it as this, burning it to get rid of pests. Time is up. Uh, fumigant. Fumigant is the answer for that. We'll go back to the board, and it's still Dave's selection. Uh, time for 1,000. Time contains about 1% this type of oil used in fragrances and pharmaceuticals. And that's Corey. What is essential oil? Essential oil is right. Let's do geometric shape rhyme time for 200. Specific area for a shape with a circular base that tapers to a point. Corey. What is the cone zone? The cone <laughs> zone. There you go. <laughs> with Good. such gusto. <laughs> Pick another one. Uh, let's do fashion rhyme time for 1,000. Okay, for 1,000. A detachable shirt front once worn with tuxedos <laughs> that was perplexing and difficult to deal with. And that is Dave. What's a tricky dicky? That's right. Or a picky dicky. Either one would have been just fine. <laughs> no, <And> it wouldn't. <laughs> we'll go back to the board guide and pick. Uh, fashion for 800 Yeah, for 800 bucks. A wrapped headdress for Muslim men designed to be worn in the city. Dave. What's an urban turban? Yep. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> How I long did it take you to come up with all these, by the way? <laughs> Three months straight. Yeah, yeah I figure. Uh, Four let's years. <coughs> I've been working on this since college. <laughs> let's clear out fashion. A fancy coffee-colored full-length dress. Corey. What is a brown gown? Yep, you got it. Oh, <coughs> Lord. We're a strong family. We can get through this. <laughs> I, I don't think so. Uh, also, curse me for doing such an accurate lockout function. <laughs> God. <laughs> Stupid. Nursery rhyme time for a thousand. For one thousand. Fat free jacks pieces of neckwear. Dave. What are Sprats cravats? Sprats cravats. Very good. Get out of here. Uh. <laughs> I wish it was past ten o'clock. I have some words for you. <laughs> <laughs> Is it my fault? I Ryan didn't Gators write his them. For knowing it. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Uh, nursery for 800 Okay, for 800 bucks. Little Bo's Mighty Jumps. Corey. What are Peeps Leaps? That is right. I hate this so much. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do rhyme, just regular old rhyme time for 1000 For 1000 in rhyme time. Telecommunication device in a river flowing from Switzerland to the Mediterranean. Corey. What is a Rhone phone? A Rhone phone. Solar system rhyme time for a thousand. Okay. The thawing of the area filled with asteroids. And that is Dave. What's the belt melt? The belt melt, yep. God damn. <laughs> uh, solar system for 800. <laughs> for 800 for solar system. <laughs> Second biggest planet's <laughs> designs. Dave. What are Saturn's patterns? That's right. Uh, solar system for six. 
taxonomic classification of the second planet. Corey. What is the genus of Venus? The Venus genus, right. You know what? Are you really being that picky? <laughs> <laughs> I gave you the rhyme. The rules words. are the rules, sir. I don't pretend to understand them. I'm merely an enforcer. Fair enough. Rhyme time for eight. For 800. To unsettle cows. Corey. What is to sneer at steer? That is incorrect. But it rhymed. It does rhyme. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Dave is the one. What is to rattle cattle? To rattle cattle is right. Ugh. It could go anywhere. Why do I want to? <laughs> Rhyme time for six. Rhyme time for 600. An artificial New York strip or sirloin. Dave. What's a fake steak? Fake steak, yep. Rhyme time for 400. For 400 bucks. A defensive ditch dug in Dijon. Dave. What's a French trench? That's right. Uh, let's finish, please. God. <laughs> finish rhyme time. This makes me feel fantastic. I'm glad I someone does. I feel like I have right now. Is rhyme time for 200, was it? Yes. Okay. A thick baseball stick. Corey. What is a fat bat? Fat bat, yep. Is this payback for Taskmaster? Is that what this it is? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> uh, nursery rhyme time for two. For 200. Jack's Hill Climbing Companions Aspirins. Corey. What are Jill's pills? Yep. Uh, 200 solar system rhyme time. Blemishes on the red planet. Dave. What are Mars scars? That's correct. Uh, solar system for four. An undignified jokester on our biggest satellite. Dave. What's a moon loon? Uh, incorrect. Time's up. A moon buffoon is what I have here. Undignified jokester would fit the second half of that. Okay. And finally. You would know about undignified jokesters. Time time for 200. <laughs> Time honey from the Ible Mountains on this large Mediterranean isle has been a delicacy for centuries. Dave. What is Crete? Incorrect. Corey. What is Cyprus? Incorrect. Eat. All you. Want to try it? <laughs> no, I have no clue. <laughs> Time is up. We're going to uh, start. It, it's uh, Sicily. What is Sicily? Oh. We made it. We made it. We're done. We're done. We're done. Round one is over. There you go. Chances are there's, the round one. there's six uh, more rhyme time categories oh coming God up. Help me. Seven. $10,000. Corey is in second place with 4400 and Pat with zero picks first in Double Jeopardy. I'm here uh, to look before pretty. Before we move on to Double Jeopardy, let me remind you <laughs> that uh, we are taking donations for Child's Play. Again. Uh, they provide toys and games to children in hospitals all across the country. They do wonderful work, and we are proud to be doing that work with them. Gameshowmarathon.com is the website where you can donate, watch the show, find out about us. And, uh, yes, thank you very much for everybody who's tuning in across the world right now. Thank you. Okay. And sorry. Um, I, I, very I, sorry. I, I apologize for that. And to apologize, let, let us move. Let me come back here, the and we will move to Double Jeopardy. Jeopardy. No more rhymes, I promise. Okay? So, we will load the board, and we'll reveal the category, starting with Bob. Oh. Cribs. Hey, that's you. Cat. I her. think there's a theme. Rich. That's him. <laughs> Liz. Aww. And you can't have Liz without Corey. So, there you go. Wow. Uh, Pat, you were in third place better. at the end of round one, so it is up to you to pick a clue. Good luck, everyone. Well, there's only one person I know, Rich from 400. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm Corey. I'm right here. I mean, we met, but I have no in 2005, clue who you guys Mikhail are. 2005, Mikhail Khodorkovsky, once this country's richest man, got nine years in jail for fraud and tax evasion. Dave. What is Russia? Yeah, correct. Uh, let's continue with Rich for 800. For 800. A book subtitled The Richest Man in the World profiles Carlos Slim of this country. Dave. What is Mexico? That's correct. Uh, let's keep it up with Rich for 1,200. Okay. Spain's El Gordo is the richest prize offered by one of these in the world. In 2005, it reached half a billion euros. Corey. Uh, what is the lottery? That's correct. Uh, let's do Liz for 1600 You would say that. Yeah. You would do Liz, wouldn't you? Peggy Olsen on Mad Men and Offred on The Handmaid's Tale. Corey. 
Who is Elizabeth Moss? Correct. Nice. Nice. Phew. Back to the board. Go ahead and pick. Uh, Liz for 2000. Okay, for 2000. I had to burp. Sorry. It's all good. In the 1950s, this toy car brand took off when its Elizabeth II coronation coach was a big seller. Corey. What is Matchbox? Matchbox is correct. Very good. Uh, Liz for 1200 John Travolta requested that his Edna Turnblad character be made voluptuous like role model Elizabeth Taylor for this film set in 1960s Baltimore. Corey. What is Hairspray? Hairspray is right. Uh, Liz for 800 For 800 Also known as a clove pink, this flower was used in Elizabethan times to spice ale and wine. Nah, fam. Nothing? Carnation. Oh. What is a carnation? I Go learned something new it's, uh, today. Pick. Liz for 400. Liz for 400. Recipients kneel on a special footstool before Queen Elizabeth to be dubbed a dame or this male equivalent. Corey. What is a knight? Yeah, it's a knight. A knight is right. That's a different game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's do Bob for 1600. For 1600 and Bob. Nutation is the bobbing motion of a spitting, rigid body. This toy is a classic example. Corey. What is uh, the dippy bird? Uh, <laughs> nope. Oh, man! Anyone oh, else? Oh, damn it! Anyone else? To me again. <laughs> okay, uh, a top. It is a top. What yeah. is a top? Oh. What is a top? It's still your pick, Corey. Uh, let's do cribs for 1600 All right. What Snoop Dogg advised his listeners drew, do when the pimp's in the crib, Ma? Dave? What is drop it like a top? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm so white. That was the one. <laughs> uh, cribs for 12. A, mu a musical one often hangs above a baby's crib. Dave? What's a mobile? Right. Cribs for 2,000. For 2,000. <laughs> so you are in the lead with 14,000. All you of it. Are all of it. You are about four, four thousand and five thousand and change uh, ahead of Corey. All uh, of it. We'll do All four thousand. Okay, for four thousand bucks. Let All me of it. That's a wimp's bet. Yes, it is. All of it. For four thousand dollars, here is your daily. Not double. that I can really talk. <laughs> Christmas song containing the lyrics: "No crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head." What is away in a manger? That is correct. Very good. Boo. There you go. You're up to 18,000. We go back to the board. Uh, let's try, let's go to Cat for 1,200. Cat for 1,200. Thing one and thing two are characters in this susical work about finding something to do on a rainy day. Dave. What is the cat in the hat? That's right. Uh, cat for 1,600. For 1,600. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. 19,002. You're 10,000 ahead of Corey. All of it. All of it. Let's do 4,000 again. I almost, Thank you, Rich. I almost did all of it. Okay, for $19,000. Oh, yeah. Another 4000 Throw a battery at him. Yeah. Winston Churchill <laughs> is an unfortunate cat run over and buried in an ancient burial ground. I didn't have a thesaurus. In this 1983 <laughs> horror novel. Uh, what is Pet Cemetery? Pet Cemetery is right. Very good. So that is another 4000 for you. You are up to 20800 I have no idea why we're still here playing this game. And it is your selection. He's he's almost he can almost reach me. No, he yeah he, no it's it's not it's not a it's not a runaway. Uh, cat for two thousand. Yeah, cat for two thousand. Seven letter word for tender feline eats. Corey. What is whiskers? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Anyone else? I'd like an adjudicator to please look up if whiskers have has ever been referred to as tender. Uh, vittles, tender vittles is the word for that. We'll Bob, you look this up. I want my two thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> go back to the board. Dave, got to pick. Uh, rich for sixteen. For sixteen hundred in rich, the top crispy one percent of the bread, or the very richest part of a society. Corey, what is the upper crust? That's correct. Uh, let's do Corey for two thousand. For two thousand, May fourth, nineteen sixty one, the start of the first freedom ride. Organized by the Civil Rights Group Corps, the Congress of this. Uh, the Congress of Racial Equality. 
That makes Social sense. Social equality. Back to the board. Go ahead and pick uh, Corey. Uh, let's <laughs> let's do Corey for sixteen hundred. Let's. At Columbia University, the core, this, is the set of common courses required of all undergraduates. Corey. What is curriculum? Curriculum is right. Hey, someone's food's here. <laughs> Sir, do you know what you've walked into? Whiskas <laughs> makes a tender bite favorite selection. Give me my money, you son of a gun. How much was that, two grand? It was two grand. All right, all right coming up, coming up, coming up. Hold your damn horses. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Yeah, Bob. I contributed. <laughs> I don't think I added the right amount. Do I have to be in daily double mode to add a custom amount? Uh, n you just have to type in the number in the custom amount field and then hit make sure that the player is selected. Yeah. And I, then I hit did. correct. It, it just gave you the amount of the last answer. Oh, it should, it should just... And it should over. Oh, wait, did you click the dollar sign button? No. Gotta click the dollar sign button. Oh, okay. So I'll give you another 400. Nope. No? Nope. We'll be right back. I just have to add 400. The 24-hour Game Show Marathon is brought to you by MMCO Auto with Porsche, Audi and Volkswagen dealerships and one of the largest selections of pre-owned vehicles in the Philadelphia area. Visit them at mmcoauto.com. Turkey Hill, imported from Lancaster County, makers of fine drinks, ice cream, frozen treats and more. Find locations and coupons at turkeyhill.com. Wawa. Wawa is your all-day, everyday stop for fresh, built-to-order foods, beverages, coffee, fuel services, and surcharge-free ATMs. Find your closest Wawa at wawa.com. Gotta have a Wawa. Newgrounds. Newgrounds.com has been the home of independent content creation for almost two decades. Find the future of animation, music, and art at Newgrounds.com. Newgrounds. Everything by everyone. Welcome back to the 24-hour Game Show Marathon. exactly the same as it was before the break. We, we have corrected everyone's scores. Everything. We've corrected everyone's score. We've corrected... Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Pat, you look different. Okay. Do I? Now, you look better? The same oh, exact three players we had. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll go ahead we'll and... Uh, Dave, Red what's your selection? Uh, oh, gosh. Uh, hit, Rich hit for 2000. When you know something. If you'll excuse me, it seems like player three already forgot how to play the game. <laughs> incredible that we can just have a two-minute commercial break and it's almost as if there's a whole new person <laughs> Was that rich for 2000, Dave? Yes, it was. Okay. <laughs> okay. The all-star game of thoroughbred racing and racing's richest event, it's held each fall at a different track. Dave. What's the Breeders' Cup? The Breeders' Cup, yeah. Oh, wow. That's not what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, I saved your money then. Thank you. Uh, cat for 800. Cat for 800. Lake Bell voiced mm -hmm. Fat Cat Chloe in this 2016 movie about what your animals do when you're not around. Dave. What is oh. the Secret Life of Pets? Secret Life of Pets, yeah. You gotta wait for the lights to light. Oh. Yeah, you gotta finish the sun. Come on, you've been here for a half hour. You I, this game yet? I, <laughs> Sorry, I just woke up. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, cat for 400. Mel Blanc said the voice of this tormentor of Tweety was the closest to his own speaking voice. Corey. Who is Sylvester? Yeah. Sylvester. Uh, let's Bob for 2,000. Bob for 2,000. <laughs> this five-letter word preceded boppers or bobbers in the name of novelty bobbing antennas that you wore on your head. Corey. What is alien? Uh, no. God? Not Some, God uh, either. That is, excuse me, that is <coughs> Dave. What is dealy? Dealy boppers, right. I swear to God, if I search. I don't know. I swear to God. Uh, Bob for 12. Bob for 1,200. Italian wedding soup is best known for these miniature round treats bobbing in it. 
Dave. What are sausages? Uh, no. What are Skittles? Anyone else? <laughs> I know what it is. I just don't know what it's called. Oh, wait. She's trying to buzz. Hold on. Let me okay. see. Maybe why he was listening. <laughs> yeah, he hadn't hit it ever. So <laughs> it turned off. <laughs> Your button literally forgot you were there. <laughs> uh, Pat. Croutons. <laughs> what are croutons? <laughs> no. <laughs> Anything? No, he buzzed in already. Did he buzz in already? Uh, Everybody yeah. buzz in already? <laughs> I didn't, and I'm not going to. No. Okay. I know what, what it is. What the hell are we doing here? <laughs> I've been asking myself that for half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I know what, I don't know what they're called. They're called meatballs. 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 Oh. Ball of meat. <laughs> I thought you meant the little, like, pasta things. Nope. 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 <laughs> nope. Okay. Uh, pasta treats. Dave. Uh, oh, God. Um, cribs for 800. Okay. At Ikea, Gulliver is a crib, and Gok is this kind of table where a crying baby might go from the crib. Dave? What's a changing table? Changing table. Why, the first thing I thought was, like, what is that thing in the morgue called when they leave the dead body out? Corey, never procreate. I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> Child's play, donate now. <laughs> Keep it away from him. Uh, cribs are four. Thank God. <laughs> it's a stationary crib or cradle with a hood. Corey. What is a bassinet? Bassinet. Yep. Thank God. Uh, let's do Corey for 12. Corey for 1,200. On March 28th, 1979, a nuclear plant in this state suffered a massive core meltdown. Pat. What is Pennsylvania? Pennsylvania's right! Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Not going to lie, I was going to say Chernobyl. Yeah. <laughs> could, could she have just said, yes, Cribs, you're right, since we're in Pennsylvania? Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> You're, yeah, yeah, uh huh. No, 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 I'm from I'm Delaware. Sorry. What is your name? Cat. Cat. <laughs> okay. There you go. Change that. For my. I had a whole category to myself. Sweet. That's my wife's name. I know. Hey. Hi. Okay. All right, cat. <laughs> oh crap! It's my turn. It is your turn. Bob. Now you pick. Now you pick one of those. Bob for four. Bob for four. <laughs> In the Hercule Poirot mystery Halloween party. A girl is drowned in a tub of water meant for this Halloween activity. Uh, cat. Bobbing for apples. What is bobbing for apples? That's right. Hey! <laughs> Back in the game! What is bob for eight? What is bob for eight, okay? A boxing move paired with bobbing or interlacing threads to form fabric. Corey. What is weave? Weave, uh, right. Uh, Corey for eight. I'm offended I'm left last. A sleeveless cloak or the part of the earth between the crust and the core. Corey. What is the mantle? Yes, that's right. And we go back to Corey for 400 as our final clue. When this red berry is picked, the core and stem are left on the plant, creating the familiar center hole. Cat. What are raspberries? Raspberries hey. are right. Hey. And just like that, just when it seemed like you weren't going to have to do anything for the rest of the game, you're in third place with 800 bucks. Corey is in second place with 1200 Dave is in the lead with $27,600. Okay, don't get discouraged. Chris. Try not to. Chris. Yeah. You should look at Bob for a second. Oh, break. <laughs> Hi, we're Child's Play. And since 2003, we've been very, very busy. We supply toys and games of all kinds to hundreds of child welfare facilities across the world. Taking a little of the outside world and bringing it inside sharing our expertise to help make children's lives better. Child Life Specialists provide therapeutic play and education to reduce fear, anxiety, and pain for pediatric patients, making their lives a little easier and a little happier. Child's Play works directly with Child Life staff to create a wish list specific to their facility, ensuring donations are used to their fullest. We've raised more than $44 million so far, and our work reaches more than a million kids per year. Come be a part of our story and learn more at childsplaycharity.org.
right, uh, Final Jeopardy is on the horizon. Again, the scores, uh, Davis in first place with 27,600, Corey's in second place with 12,800, and uh, Kat is in a third place with 800. So I'm gonna reveal the category, write down your wagers, and the Final Jeopardy category is, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Classic Rock. <laughs> Classic Rock is a category. Go ahead and write your wagers, and while they're doing that, I will remind you of two things. One, we are still taking donations for Child's Play. That is, again, the reason why we are doing this 24-hour Game Show Marathon. Uh, if you're already on GameShowMarathon.com, that's great. You can find our donation page there. Uh, we're trying to get to our Super Bowl of $3,000, so that can be doubled by our friends at MMCO Auto, which is uh, something we are looking forward to doing. And I should also mention that this hour of the 24-hour Game Show Marathon is sponsored by Broadly Entertaining. Women-owned and mostly minority-staffed, Broadly Entertaining is an event and entertainment company for everyone who's sick of the bro show. We host bingo, trivia, and Jenga nights in bars around New York, and we DJ and minister weddings, team-building exercises for businesses of all sizes, and birthday parties for kids of all ages. Owners Gianna DiGizzo and Jamie Rossler have over 25 years of combined experience in performing, huh? hosting, and no, managing no. events and productions. After several years working together on theater and comedy projects, they decided to found Broadly Entertaining and fill a gap in the is. event and entertainment market. And by putting women and minorities out front and focusing on the fun more than the winning, they're building an inclusive party space that welcomes, educates, supports valuable causes, and facilitates a damn good time. Learn more at broadlyentertaining.com, follow them on Facebook and Instagram. Okay. Great. Final Jeopardy. Okay, yes. You ready? Got your wagers? Okay, I'm going to show you. You're going to have 30 seconds. Please respond in the form of a question. And the final Jeopardy answer is... Jonathan Cain was a struggling musician when his father told him to keep at it and never give up, inspiring this three-word 1981 title. Good luck. If, if it changes the pronunciation of the word according to the television program. Yes. Allegedly. Kat was in third place with $800. Let's see what her uh, answer was. What is Don't Stop Believing? That's absolutely right. You wager $800. <laughs> So that doubles your score. You are now at 1,600. And uh, we go to Corey. Corey had 12,008, and he wrote... What is Don't Stop Believing? Don't Stop Believing is right, and he bet it all. 12,800 doubles your score. You are at... 13,600. I'm getting there. No, you're getting there. Keep going. 14, yep. 4. Yep. Yeah, yeah. 15, 2. Oh. That's too much. What is it? About, <laughs> about that? Well, eight times two. Oh, it's uh, 25 six. 25 six. There you go. Okay, hey. there you go. And uh, Dave was in first place, had a commanding lead throughout the game, and he wrote, don't stop what is Don't Stop Believing? He <laughs> wagered $712, so we add that to his score, and he is at something. Dave is the winner, Dave everybody. Wins. Congratulations. Dave Very wins. Good. So that was Jeopardy. Again, part of the 24-hour game from Marathon, if you're still there watching. Uh, what is the next? That's uh, Arts of the Detective, hosted by Gloria. Well done. 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 Well done.